Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Y Gaming. How is everybody doing? Hopefully we're all good. You should be good because the base assault update is here. And this is, if if not the biggest content update we have had over the past year, I will be very surprised. There is some absolutely amazing things going on in this update. And right in front of you right now is one of those. That is a Phoenix base, which we are about to assault. I have not done this yet, so anything that happens is a complete surprise. I'm very excited. Alongside this update, we have new building materials um, So for base building, a whole set of Soviet stuff, which is really, really cool, and something else to actually go and pick up as well, which is concrete, which we do need for a lot of the Soviet stuff. Alongside that, there has been massive updates to the UI in general and inventory sorting. Oh, I can't tell you how much I've been waiting for that. This update is mental. Absolutely mental. Let's jump in and take over the Phoenix base. And then go through a few of the other new things that have come with this update. Now, uh, it, it's... I don't know what's going to happen here. Whether we're going to get absolutely annihilated or not. Um, but we need to just destroy shield generator A and B. Now, I am assuming that's a shield generator. Is it shield generator? What is it? Oh, what did I do? Oh, we have to shoot it. Oh, 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 okay. We're alerting things now. People are getting a little bit stressed with us. Now, these bases also have a lot of defenses. So, these here, I believe, are mines. Which you can destroy. There's also a hell of a lot of loot in these things. So we're going to have to keep your eyes open for loot, uh, eyes open for enemies, and these as well are actually destroyable. Let's uh, let's get something explodey. Saying that, we don't even need something explodey. We'll just use a PVG. Just like our bases, their bases are destructible, which does give you a slight bit of an... Oh my god, there is a lot in there. What is that purple thing? Oh, wow, is that a gun? That looks like a gun. That is cool. Let's go around and have a look. Let's see, see if we can get it to shoot me. No, what are these? Whoa, 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 mines. Run, run, run. Oh, okay, that's like a spawn beacon. That is wicked. Okay, so they will keep coming in. As long as we keep, you know, killing them, he's going to keep spawning them. At least I think that's what these are. Yeah, this is it. This is their spawn beacon. It's got to be. Come on. Can we shoot them down? Doesn't actually look like we can shoot these things. Oh, God. Oh, run. Oh. So the way these Phoenix bases work is pretty much like the rival system. The more you attack these bases, and the higher the level is in your region, the harder these bases are going to become. So at the start, they're not really all too difficult. So this one is relatively easy. It's not massive. Um, I mean, it, it's big, but it's not over the top. Access denied. See, we need to get in here. All right, let's destroy the wall. Wall to it. If we destroy the wall, there's a lot of loot in these things. So let's let's knock this down. See if we can get inside and if there is anything in this section. Access denied. Could either mean this. Aha. Oh, no. We can actually get in this way. Oh, shit. No, we can't. One of the machine guns is on the wall. Run, 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 run. Aha. Right. Door busted. So there's nothing in this section. This is... These are just built to confuse you by the looks of it. And draw you away from those main shield generators. Which I like that. That's really creative. You're not going to run straight in and find the shield generators. Obviously where I ran in, I, I come across it very luckily. Um, that was a, a very lucky spree there. I'm going to try and get rid of that cannon if we can. I love those noises. That is brutal.
Right, nice. One cannon down. So now we can come in here, have a little bit of a stroll around. I really want to know what these are. Unless they're just lights of some sort. Hmm, possibly. Right, let's go destroy that shield generator. And see what happens. Whether we, um... Whether we can unlock the gates or anything like that. And that could potentially be a way to unlock things. That is a closed off area there. Let's, let's blow this through. I like my PVG. I definitely think I should have bought something explosive though. It just would have made actually destroying things a lot easier. Boom, it's done. Whoa, what was that? Run, 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 run. That was that was some sort of landmine. Jesus, this is nuts. This is an easy one as well. This isn't a this isn't a difficult one. Um, but the loot is in that room. I want to get in there and see what's in those loot containers. See how good it is, whether it's, it's really, really worth it. Ah, the turrets have got armor on them as well. All right, that's quite cool. I like that. They pack a punch, those turrets. They're not, they're not babies. I thought they would be a lot easier. And this one only has runners on it. I dread to think what some of the bigger guys are going to be like. Oh, it's a runner. <laughs> I thought we'd found some epic loot. So we've got a paramedic response pack and a flare. And also a fireworks box. Okay. That's not terrible. That's alright. Some rare, juicy... Oh, Jesus, trip mines. Can we set these off ourselves? No, we cannot. Oh, yeah, we can. Jesus. Oh. I'm going to die so many times doing these things. I'm telling you now. Right. That's down. Destroy the Phoenix Command Center. Oh, shh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, I was right about the airstrikes, but they are not for us. Oh, crap. These airstrikes are... Uh, uh... Oh, no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I wonder if... Um, do we have any fireworks? Yes, we do. We've only got one runner left. Let's, let's just test him out. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? All right, he's bringing down some more fire. These artillery barrages are definitely going to be... Uh... Oh, no, he's not. Okay, okay. He's spawning them in pretty damn quick, though. These are only runners. And when you start to get to those higher level ones... And we've got some... Uh, some harvesters... Not harvesters. Um, hunters and stuff coming. That's going to be very difficult. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. He's got the same shield generator as the um, as the Reaper as well, which is a pain in the ass. I don't know where those r rockets are firing from either. Whether we can disable them or not. Something's just dropped. I think that was a couple more. Oh, wow. Okay. Hunters, hunters, hunters. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. Dude, this is mental. I don't know what happens when we actually destroy it. Is there a massive explosion? Um. Oh, oh. Let's try the firework one more time. See if they will shoot at it. I'm trying to get them to injure it if I can. I don't know if they will, though. Just watching that health bar. <laughs> nice. 
and get them to kill themselves. Oh my. I definitely should have blown some of the walls out a little bit more. It would have made things a lot easier. We wouldn't have to keep coming around this front very tight section here. Boom! Got it, got it, got it. Whoa, what happened? Please tell me we didn't crash. So in typical GZ fashion, we crashed. But we did finish the mission, which is a good thing. Now, rewards-wise, I'm not 100% sure what we got for that, but I will do another one and see the rewards. But once you have done the uh, the actual base assault mission, you end up coming across this little thing here. Now, when you inspect it, this is a control point. So these control points you can use to build your own base. But to claim the control point, you need 20 command tokens. Now, these command tokens are shown on the top right when you open up your map. But uh, to gain command tokens, you need to assault Phoenix bases. Now, the one that we just assaulted was an easy one, and we got 10 tokens for that. That is the first base that I have assaulted, so I'm not 100% sure what we get for other bases. Um, once I've played a little bit more, got a little bit more into it, I will do a nice defined rundown and go over the loot and all that kind of stuff that we actually get from these. Now, I know we did get some new crafting materials... Which, oh, where's that? Where did it put them then? Okay, we I know we got concrete and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know where they've gone. They've possibly been put directly into our actual um, storage. Possibly, possibly. But let's have a little bit of a look at some of the other new things that we've got in this update. Now, one of those main ones being this here. Now, as you can see, on the left-hand side, we have a little... Uh, map and a beautiful few little things here that we can play around with phoenix targets soviet forces now that soviet recon camp very cool i like now that um stuff like this is there we can actually filter what we want and you can also pick your own filters so you can favorite things then if you head over to the favorites you can toggle our favorites so you want to pick whichever one you want to be your favorite so let's go for bunkers there we go I want bunkers to be my favorites. And there it will show you every single bunker. And you can do that with pretty much everything that you want to pick. Uh, it's just stuff that you're particularly interested in. This is great really for farming. Now, one thing I'm not 100% sure on is if you are playing multiplayer with friends, if you set your map to that, um, does obviously when you jump into somebody, you can only see the host's safe houses. But it could be good for something like that. If you want to target certain locations on the map set them up and then when your friend joins that way they know where you're heading and where you all need to go it could be quite a cool little thing another very simple yet much requested feature is the uh, ability to sort our inventory now as you can see at the moment it is very much all over the place uh the majority of it is just a bit nuts but now what we can do is press g and then you can filter through all sorts of different ways so z to a a to z for alphabetical chronological newest to oldest quality dilapidated worn good exceptional special experimental and then suitable weapons so suitable weapons will bring up the attachments and ammo type for the weapon that you want to pick on this side here obviously there's a lot of guns to pick here obviously brown and ball bat nothing s21 pick up loads of stuff there pvg 90 experimental grg and over to type you can pick magazines scopes vision modules weight low to high high to low and then equipped items so you can just go through all your equipped stuff and see what you've got on your guns which is going to be really good especially for me i don't like the way that the attachments are stored so obviously you go over to your attachments and everything's just mental um let's just filter Zero. Chronological, there we go. But everything is all over the place, as you can see here. Then, even if you put it in alphabetical, bang, A to Z, at least that way you've got everything AG4, AG4, AG5, 
So for me personally, obviously I have loads of these, but in the old system, you delete one and then it resets the inventory. So you've got to go through, find another one, make sure you've got it. Um, mainly notepad and pen, which is a ball ache. But now, just swatch it over to that and bang. I know I've got two there that I can get rid of, which is a little bit of weight. I've got one there I can get rid of. I prefer this. It's not exactly, um, I'd just like to be able to press a button to sort it all and then bish bash bosh. As well as this, obviously, the filter and option. But it's very cool. It makes things a lot easier. You can also do it on your character, which is awesome. So another little something else that um, might not have been noticed is the rival screen. It looks so cool. Absolutely love this. It looks so much better than the old one. And it's just beautiful. Absolutely love this. It's amazing. And then we got one up here as well. It's beastie. Look at that. The detail that you can see on the machines is insane. Absolutely love it. So cool. But alongside this update, we also got some very cool stuff, which is the Soviet base building pack. As you can see here. Boom. So many new things. I think it's like 10. No, 12, actually. 12 new items, I'm pretty sure. So, and... Alongside these new items, we also need a new material to make them. Concrete. Oh yes. Now I'm going to have a full video going into these. Um, I've heard some rumours that they are a little bit stronger than the standard stuff. Whether that's true or not, we shall see. But they look very damn cool. They're made of concrete and steel, which just makes it look a lot more rugged and more, more fun and, and beatable. And I absolutely love them. They're not as... Well, they're not... They are high, but... I just think that looks beastie. So much more beastie than the other stuff that we've got. And then alongside those, so we've got the Soviet barrier, Soviet reinforced wall, concrete wall, pylon, uh, reinforced pylon, uh, Soviet gate, and the Soviet barrier pylon. Now, these are so cool. Big ass gates, wire, barbed wires and, and spikes on the top. It's awesome. And then if we head over to this one here, we've also got a Soviet pillbox. By the way, the guy fires an AI-76. Mother Russia. All that stuff. So cool. Um, and then up here as well, we have a tall shoot house. So this one's a tall shooting position made of concrete steel and sandbags. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's like the proper little ones that we see dotted around... Um, just in, in all sorts of, like, Boo Church and all that kind of stuff was the first place that we saw them, actually. Um, I really like it. I love the look of these. I'm glad we get to use them in the base defense now. And alongside being able to use them up here, as I mentioned earlier on, these control points, we can take over them, and then we can take on machines using our stuff in those bases, which is pretty damn spicy. I like it a lot. I think it's very cool. Alongside that, though, we can see here, look at the top there. You've got the Soviet guardhouse. The UI has changed so much. It's so damn cool. Another really awesome thing, which I only noticed halfway through doing the video, is you can hold and spin things now. You can't flip them over, though, which is disappointing. I was hoping you'd be able to flip them over. But that goes for weapons, fireworks, all sorts of stuff. It's really, really cool. Now, another thing that I did sort of, that I have sort of noticed as we're moving around is that these control points here, obviously these turn into the Phoenix bases. The thing is, if you've got one out there, but you haven't actually found the Phoenix base, it doesn't show up on the map. You need to go and find the control point, and then you'll be able to see where your base is. Um, well, the ones that you can actually have that you're shooting up, taking on. And I think there's seven in total. I'm going to try and find them all. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it in today's episode. I was hoping to get another video out tonight as well, but I won't get the chance, unfortunately. Um, as you can probably tell, it's getting quite late. But this update, overall, very, very cool. Very, very fun. I love the new foliage on top of the truck as well. It's awesome. For today, though, we're going to leave that there. I am going to drop in some extra Generation Zero videos over the next week, hopefully, because I'm planning on taking a week off the week after that because I'm on holiday 
uh, going away with a partner and a few friends, so I'm very excited for that. And it just depends how much I get done before we go away. If I get enough done to keep us going through the week, then I'll, I'll continue to upload. If not, then uh, I'll be taking a week off. For today, though, that is it from me, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say a massive thank you for watching. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. If you have, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it. I've been wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you very soon with some more Generation Zero.